Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Barry. This Sith Lord is a metalhead. On today, officially Sunday, March 20th, 2022. All right, it is, yeah, it's officially 1248 over here in New York. Um, me and my wife had, um, we had a date night and went out to go see the Batman. Okay, I'll just give you, you know, anybody who's interested in wanting to go see that movie, which is actually, it was, uh, the movie was close to three hours, and look, not for nothing, fantastic movie, fantastic. Um, I thought my wife was going to actually fall asleep watching the movie, but she stood up and watched the whole thing and was invested in the movie and enjoyed it. Um, this is going to be a movie, I think, that anybody who is not too much into the whole comic book genre of movies could enjoy it because it's more of like a thriller. Um, you got all these elements in there that just keeps you on your toes. So, yeah, I think this is going to be a, a decent movie for anybody who is not too much into comics or into superhero movies in general. Uh, they will enjoy it. It, it, it. They'll enjoy it for what it is, which is a thriller, action-packed thriller. Um, yeah, it was, it was good. So I'll just get off that right now. But if anything, yeah. Well worth it. I uh, thought I was going to have an issue with the length, but it was a great movie. So anybody want to go check out The Batman, I advise you go check it out. Okay? Now, on to the great news of Star Wars. Okay. A lot of stuff going on for the last week, two weeks. Um, just recently, there was news that came out that Christopher Lloyd, uh, Christopher Lloyd, who played Doc Brown in Back to the Future, in case anybody who's not really too familiar with Christopher Lloyd, um... He, uh, he's going to have a role in um, Mandalorian Season 3, right? Now, there's a lot of speculation on what, what his character will be, but uh, as of right now, from what I'm hearing, or what I've, well, actually not hearing what I've read, uh, that it does look more of like a guest appearance. Um, I think it's going to probably be like a one-episode thing. Um, doesn't look like it's going to be like long-term characters, maybe just something for him to, you know, uh, maybe he'll, maybe he'll have two episodes, who knows? Um, there was a lot of speculation on, um, you know, as far as, you know, what they were trying to do with him. Uh, something I feel he's going to probably be somebody on Mandalore. Uh, that's what my feeling with that. I think he's going to be, uh, somebody from Mandalore, you know, he's going to, you know, Din Jaren is supposed to be going down there to get rebaptized or to clear off his sins of taking off his helmet or whatnot. And um, I just feel that maybe that's what's going to end up happening. He's going to probably be some type of uh, Mandalorian. And, you know, we'll see. We'll see how, you know, we'll see how it goes. But, you know, we got so far one, you know, I think I'm, I'm feeling one episode, maybe two. I don't think it's going to be an ongoing character. But we'll see, you know, I mean, you know, more weirder things have been happening when it came to these shows, right? Um, also, uh, other things making the news now also is, is there has been talking about how Darth Maul was cut from the Kenobi show and replaced with Vader. Okay. Um, I don't know how true that is or isn't. I mean, look. I'm one. I'm one to always want to jump the gun and step on Kathleen Kennedy's neck for her doing stupid shit, right? Uh, but I don't know if this is totally her her doing. Um, if that was the case, where I think they were gonna go and use him for whatever reason, it might have got sidestepped from him with that little controversy he had back. Um, I think it was sometime in 2020. Um, with his wife and the social media thing, nakedness, and there's a whole big thing going on. I know they had, you know, uh, they didn't have him. I think they were distancing themselves from him for a while. Um, but I'm not sure what the relationship is now with uh, Ray Park and Disney. Uh, we're hoping that maybe he does make a, a comeback sooner or later. Uh, and if that was the case and he was going to be in the Kenobi show, um, and they had a schedule to keep. I, you know, I guess they said, you know what? They might have just switched things over and 
you know, made more Vader as a focal point. Which, honestly, I don't, you know, I mean, for a live-action Kenobi show, I think I would have preferred Vader anyway. You know, the, the, what, what's been going on with Obi-Wan, um, Anakin's Fall from Grace, um, you know, just basically having to, to, to see more of that in there, you know, to see what was going on in Kenobi's head and um, just to see Vader, Anakin having his issues and so on and so forth and how everything transpired from there. So, look, I, I, the last thing I want to do is give anybody from Disney props, uh, but we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Uh, there's still a chance for more, maybe not for um, this season, because I heard already that they're already, I think they're talking about doing a season two eventually for Kenobi. I, you know, if this thing goes well and they make, they get a lot of subscribers to Disney Plus to watch the show, I'm sure they're going to do a season two. They're going to keep making money. You know, it's just the same thing with Mandalorian. Just think about it. Mandalorian was such a hit. They got season two on and they had so many subscribers because of the Mandalorian. Is like now they're, they're, they're going crazy. So, um... If they did bring back Maul, it would have to be somewhere in the vein of uh, what was going on between that time of uh, Revenge of the Sith and Rebels. Because Rebels basically was the last we saw Maul where him and Kenobi had that final battle and Kenobi kills him. Um, or, you know, look, everything is, they're doing all these little shows. I'm, 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 an, I'm all for a Maul show, you know, him being the leader of Crimson Dawn, him having to deal with the syndicate, him having to go through all, you know, the, the trials and tribulations of being a a, a, a a crime boss, you know, I don't see why not. And it, it'd be a shame because this is basically what we would want from Boba Fett, but, you know, uh, we got something different and, you know, that's fine, you know, whatever. But we'll see. Hopefully we will get that, Okay. Um, also, you know, with everything that's been going on with uh, the Mandalorian uh, and what's been nitpicking on certain things that look like it's everything looks like it's still going to lead to the sequel trilogy. At, regardless, you know, it's, it's no biggie. You know, me and somebody on Facebook were talking about it, and I said, "Look, I just feel is that if they could just give us something in between that's worth watching." That maybe, not that I'm going to sit down and want to watch the sequels again. Um, I, it just gives me something to say, okay, well, it can make somewhat sense as long as it's pretty cool and it, and it just flows, then so be it. You know, not everything is going to be the way you want, I guess. But, you know, as long as it's good, I'll be watching, you know. Um, also, um, there was talk about Grogu uh, getting... Um, you know, I so an IG-11 style armor as his Mandalorian armor. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I mean, I don't know. I mean, he's small. You know, you probably want. I don't know. I don't know. I, I really don't know how to feel about that. I saw concept art on it, or somebody do, did something on it, and I don't know. Just I don't know. I, it's really hard to say. I, I I don't know how I feel about looking at him inside that that armor and, you know, having to do things, because, I mean, there was something about the foundlings having to go in, and uh, they're going to have to fight, or whatever, and he's part of, he's a foundling, and he has to be down with that, um, I don't know, I, I guess we'll, you know, we'll, hopefully when we get closer and closer to Mandalorian Season 3, and when we see, maybe they'll show him in little bits and pieces of the trailers, and we'll see where it goes from there, but, um, I don't know. I, I just, I think he should just be straight up and, you know, if he's going to fight with Din, you know, he feels he's he's Jedi enough, then let him be Jedi enough, you know? That's all I can say. And, um, I had did a video a while back and I think I, I you know, I sent this out on some Facebook groups, um, I think it was about four months ago. I was talking about, uh, Samuel L. Jackson and the possibility of Mace Windu wanting to return or, the, or what it would take for him to return. Uh, so now it's becoming more and more bigger where Samuel Jackson himself is actually putting it out there where he wants to come back. He wants to come back as Mace Windu. And basically, uh, you know, we were talking about, he said he spoke to George Lucas about it and Lucas never confirmed that 
Mace Windu was dead and that he could come back. Um, you know, people were just wanted to, oh, no, he's dead. You know, but come on. There's people that came back from supposedly dead that were worse off than Mace Windu. So would I want to see it? Yeah, I do. I do. I mean, it would have been better, I think, to see it maybe unfold in maybe in between Kenobi, I think, you know, where him coming back, maybe him running into Kenobi and then maybe having to meet Vader to try to, you know, because, you know, my concept of Mace Windu now is that he's a bitter, he's bitter, he's pissed, he's holding on to a lot, you know, he's got, a, he, I'm sure he probably got elements of the dark side in him and he's wanting to come and he wants to go after Vader, he wants to go after Anakin. For do you know for for betraying him and Palpatine? That's like those are his main focus, and that'll be something I think worth watching. I think it would. Um, you know, let's let's see your look, man. You got Sam Jackson wants to get in, man. Give him a glorious death. You know, now you could you know give him something that he could go in there and do what he can and give that man a give that character a glorious death. Give him a glorious death. So. Mace Windu will finally live on, and you know, <laughs> said that motherfucker, <laughs> Palpatine, the motherfucker, you shot me with that lightning, motherfucker, <laughs> freaking Anakin, you chopped my fucking head off. <laughs> oh man, that thing would be hilarious. Oh man. Also, just like I said, guys. Um, Get a chance to check out some of the old videos I have. Uh, there were some other videos I've been putting up on some of the Facebook groups that nobody really saw, like some of my what if concepts of what could happen if uh, Grogu was to turn to the dark side. Uh, you know, what if Leia uh, was a spy for the for, for Palpatine? I threw you know I threw little tidbits like that, and you know I think that'd be pretty cool. Look, you know Disney could do it. Disney could do it. You know, but. Uh, I don't know, I guess they, you know, they love making money, but they just don't like, you know, good ideas, I guess. All right, but that's it for now, guys. Hey, just remember, um, look me up on um, The Sith Lords merch on Facebook. I got my shirts there, not these. Uh, this is Crowbar, one of my favorite bands. Uh, I have other shirts there. I got some new shirts that I put up uh, recently. Um, Going to get some sales going on for the spring. Um, also, please like and subscribe my, to my channel, share the channel, and let me know what you think. I appreciate all your comments and uh, your support, and, you know, let's let's just hope that, you know, we get our just due from everything that's going on in pop culture, right? All right, guys, that's it for now. This is Barry. This Sith Lord is a metalhead. May the Force be with you.